Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about energy vampires. I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time because I believe it's super important and I think if you are around energy vampires, which I will explain in this video, this can be blocking you from your happiness and your success. So I really hope you find this video helpful and if you do, please do not forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe as always and hit that notification bell. I genuinely appreciate it. So let's get on with the video. So first of all, I wanna to explain to you what an energy vampire is. An energy vampire is someone who is incapable of generating positive energy and they want to take from your energy. So if you're a happy, upbeat person, they will wanna take your positive, good energy and make themselves feel better. So there are many different types of energy vampires which I would explain to you. So the first one is a victim. A victim is someone who always has issues. They've always got a problem. And even when you try to help them out and give them advice, they'll be like, yeah, but they never really want the help. And even if they do get the help, they will then have another problem. They're very rarely without issues. And I think as human beings, we're sort of programmed to make people feel happy when they feel sad. So we are always trying to give our time to them and sort of cure their problems. The next sort of person is someone that just loves to take from you and they never give. These people are very narcissistic. They're very selfish. Everything evolves around them. Even if you go somewhere, it's to benefit them. And they're not very considerate of your feelings or what you want to do. The next one is a manipulator. They are a bit more harder to detect as they always come across as nice. They're always giving you compliments. They will be the sort of person that will say, oh, you're really good at that. Can you help me do that? And then before you know it, you're doing loads of stuff for them because they've complimented you, they've made you feel good. And now they're sort of taking all your energy and time away because they're getting you to do things for them. And everything they do is really for themselves. So when they compliment you, it's to get you on their side or get you to like them. So then you will do things for them. This one may not be as obvious because as I say, they're gonna be complimenting you. You will know though over time of how they're making you feel. The next one is a downer, which I'm sure we've all had. We've all had a friend that's always depressed, always down. Um, they're never really that upbeat. They're very unenthusiastic. And if they're out or they're anywhere, you can sort of feel their energy as soon as you're near them. And when they leave a room, the room sort of lights up because their negative energy has left. They're the sort of people that will drain you of your energy and they won't make you feel very good and they may need to seek counsel them. The next one is a controller. The controller is someone where you feel like you're not being yourself because they've sort of manipulated you into feeling that you can't be yourself or they've told you oh you shouldn't wear stuff like that or you shouldn't hang about with that sort of person and then you sort of alter yourself to be how they want you to be and they do it in a way where you're very unaware that you've become like that hopefully in this video you will realize it because if someone makes you change your ways or say if you're normally a very upbeat happy person then they're like oh why are you always so happy all the time it sort of makes you feel like, oh, okay, I won't be as happy anymore. And subconsciously, you do change around that person and we don't want that. If you're an energy vampire, you do not want people all upbeat and happy. You want them to feel as down as you are. The next one and the last one I'll talk about is attention seekers. They're the sort of people that want you to listen to them, but they won't listen to you. They'll be like, yeah, 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 when you're talking, but they want your full attention when they are speaking. They always wanna be the center of attention in a group and in general. And then people will drain you because you won't feel very good around them and you will feel your energy change. These people I've described can be your colleagues or coworkers, as you say in America, your family or your friends. And sometimes it can be difficult to remove these people from your life because my solution would be to cut them out of your life. But if they are a family member, perhaps you can limit your time with them because say if you went to London in the polluted air where I go every day, say if you went there once a month rather than every single day, you won't be as affected by it. So if you limit your time with that person, then they're less likely to affect you. Or you can even speak to them. You can say to them, look, I've noticed you do this and it makes me feel this way. And if they don't stop, then maybe you do have to cut ties with them. And personally, I don't tell people when they've done this to me or how they are, because to me, this is the way you are. I observe people over a period of time. I always let people be who they have to be. 
and if I feel like you're not my sort of person, if I don't feel great around you, I will just remove myself from the situation. I don't want conflict. I sort of accept that's the way you are and I don't like it, <laughs> basically. If you are around someone that every time you're around them, your energy changes and you feel bad and you feel rubbish, they're basically dropping their rubbish off to you and then now you're carrying it and now you feel bad. And not only is it bad for you, you're doing a disservice to the people that you do love because how are you meant to uplift and motivate other people and be happy and good around other people if you spend a lot of time with people that make you feel down? So yeah, it's not just about you, it's about people that you love and you want to be happy around and want to feel uplifted around. These people are likely not to be that happy themselves, hence why they do what they do. And so if it's just a temporary time that they've been like this, then maybe they're just going for a bad time. But if they've always been like this, the likelihood is, is that they are like this and they can't help it. Some people simply aren't good for your soul. And life is too short to be around people that make you feel bad. You wanna be around people that bring the best out in you, that uplift you, that motivate you. We are so affected by our environment and what's around us, whether it's what you watch, what you listen to, what you read, and the people that you speak to, the people that you are around. And energy is so real and people's energy can have an effect onto you. I think people will watch this and be like, energy vampires, that's not real. Maybe you can call it something else. You can call it toxic people that take your energy away. The reason why they are called energy vampires is because they're having an effect on your energy. And energy is something you need just like blood for vampires. <laughs> you need your energy, so you need to protect it with everything you can. If you are someone that's trying to make your goals happen, you need that spiritual and emotional energy to make your dreams happen, and you do not want anyone draining your energy. So I believe it's super, super important to get rid of people in your life that make you feel anything but good. And if you're spending hours a week with someone like that, that is detrimental to your success, your life, and everything around you so be super super careful of who you spend your time with i'm going to be doing more videos on this subject so please like the video so i know that you like the videos like this i'm going to love you and leave you now if you have any experiences with energy vampires please let me know in the comment section below i'd be really intrigued to know about it and i will see you in my next video